Hey everybody, welcome to What About The Game. Today I'm going to be talking about Judge on the Nintendo Switch. Before we get into the review, please consider clicking that subscribe button. That would help me out so much and you'd get more awesome Switch reviews far into the future. Let's get on with it. Judge, Judge or however the pronunciation goes, is a top-down twin-stick sci-fi shooter from the guys at 10 tons. That may sound slightly familiar, as the very recently released Neon Chrome was thrust upon the Switch user base, which fits almost the exact same description. Well, that's because Neon Chrome and Judge are actually sister titles, similar to games like Zelda Seasons and Ages. Now, I didn't review Neon Chrome, but my good friends over at Switch Watch did, and I highly recommend you check out that review if you want to know more about it. But you're here for Judge, right? The main difference that sets it apart from its sister game is the progression. Where Neon Chrome could be a punishing roguelike experience, Judge is a linear predefined one. Enemies are in the same place every time you play one of the pre-planned levels. It was made in response to some folk not quite getting on with roguelike designs, which is fair enough. Personally, I think I prefer this iteration of game style. While I do love a good roguelike, as one of my favourite games of all time is Azure Dreams, for example, I think I prefer the structured nature in a shooting action game like this. I think it fits the genre much better. Without too much in the way of the story, your city has become overrun by gangs and crime lords, and as an extreme response, the government has initiated the Judge Project, which if you've ever read or seen Judge Dredd, it's basically a ripoff. You complete various sets of missions, each with a main goal in mind. What I liked the most about these missions is the fact that the goals really do differ. Each mission has three goals in mind, one main goal and two secondary. The main one could be something like rescue all the hostages, defeat all the enemies or defeat one particular boss. The secondary goals could be something like pick up all the loot, don't take any damage or even complete it in a set time. As the game itself states, Completing all three goals in one playthrough is quite unlikely for the most part, and so levels need to be replayed. Some of them can be pretty challenging too, even on normal difficulty. The time challenges seem almost impossible for me. Each goal you check off will earn you a medal, which can then allow you to progress in other things such as unlocking power-ups or newer missions. One plus point that I really quite liked was the reworking of levels. After you complete an act, of levels on normal difficulty, those levels are upped in difficulty and have three new goals to achieve, so you can get even more medals. It makes the game surprisingly longer than you would initially think by just looking at the map screen where all the levels are laid out. The gameplay is obviously key in a shooter and I'm pleased to say it's pretty solid in Judge. It follows as you'd expect, moving with the left analog stick and aiming with the right. Firing isn't automatic though as some precision is needed, especially with civilians around, so firing is done with the ZR button. From an isometric top-down perspective, you wander around homes and offices and tower blocks and so on, blasting away at bad guys. Most of the levels are open for you to come at however you want. Maybe you can find a sneaky way in, taking enemies down quietly as possible, or you can go in full guns blazing in a huge firefight, smashing windows and blowing holes in walls. It's up to you how you take it. I think the stealthy side is slightly more difficult as there really aren't mechanics in play for it, so it can be a little clumsy at times. I would have liked a sneak button or something more stealthy, but it is what it is. The game prides itself on customization, boasting it as being a large selling point of the game. And to be fair, there are quite a lot of options. You can equip various augmentations to both your suit and weapon, known as a gavel, because you know, you're a judge. There is an impressive amount of varied options available to you, almost to an overwhelming level, especially when you get further in the game and you've unlocked quite a few of them. With only four slots for your armor, you have to make some really tough decisions. Do you want more health? a hacking ability or something like that. Again, with your weapon, tough choices have to be made to fill the five slots. One is for your type of ammunition, normal shots, shotgun blast, lasers, so on. Then you have a slot for your secondary weapon, rockets, grenades, stun grenades. Then three slots for upgrades, whether you want more ammo, faster reloading, ability to not shoot civilians. There is just so much choice. There's probably more to unlock and equip than there is actual game to play, which is odd to say, but it does feel like there's more stuff to use than there is to use it on, if that makes any sense. Graphically, the game is a bit of a mixed bag. While I think the art direction is great because 
Who doesn't like neon lit futurescapes? I love the style, but Judge still bears the hallmarks of its small indie development. It does look a little rough around the edges in terms of animation and models, environments and such. The music was pretty sweet though. It suited the theme of the game well, and I found myself nodding to the music quite often. Overall, Judge is a fun top-down twin stick shooter. Presentation wise, it's not the best with animation environments, looking slightly on the simple side, but the gameplay is just about there with absolutely tons of customization available, probably more than necessary. If you couldn't get along with Neon Chrome's roguelike progression, but enjoyed the gameplay, then Judge's predefined missions may be the one for you. I'm always a sucker for twin stick shooters, and I rather enjoyed Judge. It's nothing mind blowing or essential, but it's a decent time. Okay guys, if you've enjoyed this review, be sure to click that subscribe button and maybe even like it. You can read the full review of Judge at whataboutthegame.com and you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter if you want to. All the links are below. Thanks guys, bye bye.